Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite tape decks. Oh yes. What am I talking about? The Duel C844. Duel is a company, a German company, which is still doing turntables and was born actually in the beginning of the last century doing turntables mainly. Then, during the 70s and 80s, they released, actually until 81, this precise model and other models up until that year. Then, in, already in 1982, they went berserk, unfortunately, and bankrupt. But this was practically among the last, if not the last, model of them. And I think it's a true jewel. You ready for it, guys? Let's take a look. Okay guys, so the reason why I want to present this deck to you is mainly for two reasons. One, this is not a well-known deck. I mean, among the, the true tape heads it is. But among the common knowledge, we're always looking for Nakamichi, Tanberg, or maybe high quality Sony tape decks, etc. This, this deck may be found at a reasonable price around $300, a little bit less than in Euro maybe, it depends. And the cool thing of this deck is it, that it has a double speed. So as you can imagine, the, the whole game starts to change in that way. At least that's what we think. That's what we're gonna discover today. Um, this deck does not have manual or any type, not even automatic calibration. So it's already in a step backwards respect of to, to the great cassette de decks. That's true. But it is a three head deck. It does have no Dolby B and C. It is, a, a, as you will see, an open type uh, direct um, drive. I mean, it has a lot of characteristics which I think put it in a top professional high end types of deck. And the sound, as you will see, is truly amazing. Okay, guys, let's get to it. Go. Okay guys, so now let's take a look at the main features of this fantastic cassette deck, the Dual C844. Let's turn it on and now we'll take a look at the main buttons and functions of this deck and afterwards we're going to have a little test, trying to record a few things and see what, what comes out, okay? Let's dive in. Okay guys, so as you have seen when I turned on the deck, this part came down. See? Now that's a very cool feature because there is this kind of plexiglass covering that protects all the heads. This is a 1981 deck. As you can see, it has this direct load, which was typical of the 70s, but it reached also in this phase of production. And it has some infrared lasers here which detects practically your, your thumbs, and that's why it, it will stop also the mechanisms. Also be careful because sometimes these decks appear to be broken, but you just need to clean this part here where the laser comes down. And at that point, you're good to go. It'll, it'll function again. Um, this obviously is a three head deck and it has two motors. Why is that? Because it has, in this case, also two speeds. The normal cassette speed, which is uh, 4.76 centimeters per second in terms of centimeters. Otherwise, it's one and seven eighths of an inch per second. That's the normal standard speed. This deck, the cool part of this deck is why I also got it, is that it can reach the double of that speed, which is 9.52 centimeters per second or three and three quarters inch per second. Now that's a very fantastic, cool feature and we will see that with the recording test at the end. Oh, so um, as you can see here, we have three heads. The recording and playback are together in one here, although separated, obviously. This is a send us uh, type of head, which it's, it's a good, pretty hard, and at the same time, good frequency response head. And um, 
dual capstan, belt driven on that part. And now let's go and see the main features. Okay, so now as you can see, we have this very cool VU meters. Again, this is something coming from mainly the 70s, but we're still finding on a deck that is was created in 1981. Here blinking, we have the stop. Until we put a cassette inside, it's gonna start continue on blinking. There is a music finder, because if there is a gap, it can find that gap and start playing or reach that point in the cassette. Very cool, obviously play, record. Out of space, it can cre create a small gap in the music, pause. This is where you activate the other motor, double speed. Repeat, it will repeat the program of the cassette. Monitor tape, obviously, is that's why we, we want three heads. With this, you can monitor the source, and at this end, with a click of a button, obviously, the tape itself. Here we have the classic MPX filter. If you want to record uh, radio programs, we have Dolby C and B, or off. And another cool feature, which I love of this deck, is as you can see, there's also Type 3. Ferrochrome, oh yes, baby. We have all the types here because in this period, that type, that in the, uh, the type three type of cassette was in production. So, and not only we have a good type here, a good variety of tapes, of types of tapes, and um, we could say also a subdivision inside of these. So we have all these selectable features in order to have the optimal uh, bias and equalization. So we have on top ferric, classic ferric, and ferric one. What is the difference? As for chrome and chrome two, as you can see, the first one is for European type of types of cassette, which means uh, bass, for example, BASF. While the second one, ferro ferric uh, one, is for the Japanese type of ferric one cassettes. The same for chrome. The chrome, the first one is for BSFA, BASF the true chrome, uh, while instead chrome 2 is more for the Japanese productions, which is saturated with cobalt. Below, as I said, we have the ferrochrome by Sony, and then all the pure metal cassettes. Here, on this other side, we have the, um, the line, obviously R, also DIN, level. We can select the level for recording. We have the fade in and fade out if we want to do those effects. You can also turn that on or off. We have two inputs for two microphones if you want, or also just a mono microphone if you want to put it, just one, you put it here. Here we have the level of the mics, and that's it. Obviously here we have the commands for the, the counter, and that's it. Okay guys, so let's prepare our deck and our tape for this recording. I'm gonna record the first track um, oppression from the album Fight for Your Mind from Ben Harper, a fantastic album which I highly suggest. Okay, we're gonna record our track on a Type 1 tape, a new brand new tape from Recording the Masters and the Fox. I think it's a very good type of tape. And let's try it. I'm gonna rip this open. There we go. Here's nice brand fresh tape, which comes directly from the SM900, one of the best real to rate real type of types of tape currently produced by them. Directly here. Okay. So we have to we have selected ferric type one, Dolby C, normal speed. This is the level I cho I've chosen, a little under five. There is no uh, any type of calibration, manual or auto automatic. You don't have that on this deck, although it does do excellent recordings. So let's start our recording. It's going to be the first track of the album Fight for Your Mind by um, good old Ben Harper with the track, the first track, Oppression. Okay, so we hand again a nice fresh tape. This time we're gonna put double speed. There we go. 
we're ready. Okay, guys, so let's try to listen to type one cassette, as we said, with normal speed to this track by uh, Ben Harper. I forgot to mention that the, the signal from which the source is coming is 24 bits per 192 sampling rate. Very, very high quality. Okay, let's hear it. As you can see, it's normal speed. Ferric C, Dolby noise reduction C, go. Okay, now let's put the same version, obviously, but with double speed. Ready? Go for it. Okay, guys, so you've listened to the track on normal speed, the track on double speed. Here are the two spectrums of both of them. But I think already with your ears, you noticed very little difference. Um, I think that if we go with chrome and especially metal cassettes, the difference between the two is going to be more noticeable. But with a normal ferric cassette, I must admit, the differences are not that not that big. I mean, just a little bit better the double speed, but not that much. Again, the normal speed is perfectly acceptable. And overall, the quality, I think you can agree with me, even though I did a obviously a rip in digital and I had to put it here on YouTube, I think it's very, very good. I mean, these cassette decks have really some amazing sonics and people tend to forget this. Please, guys, please try and record a high resolution signal. It can come from vinyl, it can come from another tape, or it can come now with these high resolution formats or DSD. I did a video on this. Take a look. So we have to try to go to this aspect since this is not even monitored by the companies. So you can get this high quality, well, no problem, and put it in your tape and enjoy analog music finally. Well, okay, guys, thank you for watching. Put your comments here below. Tell me what you think about this test. Tell me what you think about this dual cassette deck or if you have other models from duals or other double speed decks you think are worth mentioning. Thank you again, and remember, music is born analog.